in the crossover, we'll also do a group photo with all four of them as well, for anyone interested. Um, so just to get things started, uh, an opening question for both of you. Looking ahead to Charlotte this weekend here at Inter and Coast Stadium, how's the team feeling? How's, how's the vibe going into playoffs? And, and what are you expecting out of Charlotte? Start with Luis or Oscar. You, pre you prefer. Mm -hmm. Uh, we expect a tough game as always. Uh, I think that making the playoffs is a, is a privilege and uh, we're really happy that once again we're sitting here talking about playoffs. Uh, it's five years in a row, five straight. Uh, that's amazing. It's really amazing. If you think about it, only two teams in MLS can say that right now. Uh, five straight playoffs. So we're really excited. I think it's a great time for the franchise. Charlotte is a very difficult opponent. We know them well. We have a lot of friends there, uh, including Urso, who is coming back to town again. I don't think this time he's going to get the same ovation that he got last time. Uh, but um, it's good. We're happy to be here. We hope that we can play a great game and beat Charlotte here and hopefully go on the road and beat him again so we don't need game three. Not that I don't want to see anybody back, but, uh, you know, I'd rather do it in two. Well, first, uh, from all the players and staff, uh, thank you so much for uh, the company and the connection that you guys do with uh, our people and 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 the people who is uh, following us and, and Major League Soccer. We are so proud to be again at this stage of uh, the playoffs, which, which is uh, uh, the most important part of the season. And uh, for us, it's just an opportunity uh, one more time just to get the best price here uh, to our club, uh, to our city. And uh, that's what we are focused on. Uh, we are very optimistic and uh, so ready to compete. And regarding uh, our match, it's, uh, uh, it's a playoff time. Do you know that uh, playoffs is a different tournament? It's a short tournament. When there is not tomorrow, you have uh, to be ready that day. And uh, we are preparing mentally just uh, to face that challenge that, that we are. But we are really proud uh, to represent our club again in playoffs. So for those in the room, if you have a question, just use the raise hand button. If you're on the Zoom, just use the, I'm sorry, you're in the room, raise your hand. If you're on the Zoom, use the raise hand button. We'll start with Austin, we'll go to Shane. Afternoon, guys. Um, Luis, you kind of talked about it, just five straight playoffs. Um, for, for both of you, having the, the core group of this team remaining from when you first started uh, all the way through to now, how important has that been just for, you know, this this season of being able to have the second half turn around from the beginning of the season, being able to come out into a good standing in the playoffs, and also just having that experience of guys who have been there and you know been through something like this to to be able to kind of make a run. How important is that uh, going forward now? Uh, I, I think it's great to have uh, consistency on the project and uh, we have to express our gratitude also uh, for uh, the hard moments too. But that continuity, that consistent, just give us the best chance and the best opportunity to uh, show the best out of our group. Uh, the core of the team that we have built uh, all together and uh, uh, just keep that group and trying to reinforce it every year. Uh, is going to give us the best chance and the opportunity to win it. So uh, we really value uh, that continuity and that, and that consistency on uh, the players that we can have and retain, knowing that sometimes other teams want them or do uh, you know how is the business in the industry, but uh, the club has made an effort on just retaining the group in that quarter players. Uh, once again, we, we will have a better opportunity to win. Shane and then, oh, sorry, go ahead, no. nice. I guess that everything that Oscar said, and I think that uh, you can you can look at us and say it's the same group of players. They're, they're new players, you know, they're players coming and going all the time. But I think the things that stay are that we are, uh, we follow the same principles always, right? It, we, there's no giving up. 
you can say whatever, things are not working out, but this team is always committed, is always fighting hard, even through when, when times are not easy and, you know, and we're also adaptable. We, we know how to adapt to different things. Uh, that has a lot to do with the mentality of the coaching staff, of course. That's what they, uh, they're all about. That there's no, you know, you can lose a game, but you can't lose an effort. And that's what, what that, that's the consistency, the most important thing, that it's consistent in our group. Now we'll go to Shane, then to Alonso. Oscar, it's a three-game series, but, you know, one, one game won't end it. But how do you treat the first game, the importance of winning that, getting off on the right foot? Do you almost have to manage it like there's no tomorrow? Uh, that's correct. And um, we, we should be conscious about uh, not just the opportunity, but the reality of the playoffs. That is not tomorrow. It really isn't. Uh, at the same time, we have had an advantage during the season and qualified in the fourth place uh, this time, uh, knowing that uh, we would have another g game at home in the case that we needed. But it's our uh, thoughts and confidence that we can resolve uh, the series uh, the sooner as possible. But respecting the, the structure, obviously, we are playing the series as it is and first concentrate on this first one game. This one is the one, and we'll see after that what's the next approach, but uh, one step at a time, and now we have them at home, and we we must win it. Alonso, uh, then right thank you. Hi. Hi, Coach. How are you? Uh, congratulations for the playoff for the fifth time in a row. But I want to ask you about November is another uh, Conmebol qualifiers. Have you guys have a plan how to uh, keep the momentum of Orlando City showing all this half of the season? Uh, it's correct. Uh, it's some of the challenges that we have faced during the year. Uh, the FIFA days, knowing that uh, our players had been selected to their national teams, and not just one, but sometimes three and even more. Uh, but uh, it's good for them, it's good for the club. Uh, we had trying to face uh, those uh, couple weeks when the FIFA day chose and uh, and trying to be the best with the players that we have or we kept here. But uh, uh, now it's just keep managing the way we have done it, allowing them to go, obviously, and, uh, and just try to magnify the days that they are training with us and during that period. And playoffs is, is going to be the same. Not, not perfect, but it, it will be the same. I'm going to go to Michaela and to Brandon. Okay. ¿Puedo verlo hacerlo en español? Sí, ¿qué tal, profe? ¿Cómo está? Mucho gusto, Micaela Marín de Univisión Orlando. Eh, profe, quería preguntarle, obviamente es paso a paso, justo lo estaba mencionando aquello, eh, se viene un partido importante con eh, Charlotte y luego, obviamente, de pasar la llave, vendría el primero, que sería el Inter, o el Atlanta United, que acaban de tener un partido importante este fin de semana en casa, que cayeron derrotados. ¿Cómo planificar el primer partido para posteriormente, si es que llegase a pasar los octavos de final, enfrentar a, a dos equipos también que son fuertes en su, en su campo? Gracias. Bueno, saludos también. Eh, en los playoffs es bueno que uno pueda tener una visión de la estructura del, de ese torneo corto que, que es eh, o que significa los playoffs y mirar bien la ruta que nos toca, que como dices, pues avanzando nosotros con, con uh, Charlotte, tendríamos uno de los dos rivales eh, de la zona, que es Miami o Atlanta. Eh, sabemos que podría ser así, pero nuestra responsabilidad hoy es enfocarnos en Charlotte y pasar ese, ese primer escollo, o un rival a la vez y esperar que lo, lo otro se vaya derivando como venga. Pero, pero es correcto lo que dices, vamos a tra uno trata de mirar el panorama y... Y, y sí que sabemos quién, quiénes son los rivales próximos, pero de nuevo, pues esperamos primero pasar nuestra, nuestro primer eh, bracket con Charlotte. Go to Brandon, Jessica, and then Mike. Hey, what's going on? Coach, this question is for you. You guys have been playing the best soccer since July in the league. What would you say has been contributing to your success? And then how do you keep it up with the pressure of the postseason? Uh, it's, it's, it's true, we, we felt the same 
uh, I thought we uh, put a lot of uh, things together uh, since the summer. But when we recap what it was the first semester, uh, we also uh, remind a lot of good games that uh, we couldn't finalize uh, because we didn't score uh, and we were not fine in that last third of the pitch. And playing well without scoring, it seems like uh, it's impossible to have good memories because you you won't get the results. So these good results had been uh, a team playing well and the team has been playing uh, not just well, but we're scoring all. And the last semester, uh, we increased that part of our uh, performances. We we found a net, and uh, we hope that we can continue dur during this uh, uh, playoffs. And most important, but 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 you're right. We we're playing well, but m better that we're scoring. And now it just give us uh, the best opportunity to win. Just wondering a question for both of you, but does the atmosphere feel like a little different this year just with the, the pride going to the playoffs and you guys going to the playoffs the same year, first time ever? I think it's great that the pride is in the playoffs. It gives us the, the full package, right? We have uh, both teams. Uh, uh, we love when, when the pride is putting together their, their run like they did and getting ready for the playoffs, getting supported shield, and that tells you a lot about the whole organization, right? Uh, it, it, it's just like for us, we concentrate on ourselves as, as I know that they concentrate on, on themselves. But, uh, but of course, we do love the fact that we're both in the playoffs. Uh, and, and if we can bring two championships to the city at the same time, that would be amazing. Uh, but we all looking at our, our own brackets, our, our own challenges right now. Um, but, but absolutely great to have uh, both teams for the first time uh, in the playoffs. And right, it's correct. We 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 all felt uh, so proud of uh, the pride and winning a supporter shield is so difficult, and uh, and and that's 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 a, that's a great achievement for our, for our club, and and we're we're very proud, and uh, we congratulate them, and we're pushing for the best all the time for them. So. Um, hopefully that uh, that we all can uh, just uh, reach the best uh, in this sports season. Yes. For Coach Perea, uh, when you guys were struggling earlier in the season, um, how worried were you that you might not pull out of it? Were you did you do something different to maybe kickstart the team? Anything uh, schematically or motivationally that you did to sort of pull the team out of the uh, the losing? Well, it's a great question because uh, what I talk to the players when we get in these uh, periods where uh, we have these downs and we don't get results. Uh, and uh, I reinforce a lot on the group that the way we do it is the way we're going to continue because that's what it has brought us in, in the success of the club and the, and, the, and the team and the tournaments. And not losing our ways uh, on those periods where it seems like uh, mm, the things are not right, but consistency on belief on the, the way we do things, the way we play, the, the way we have construct this, this, uh, this club and this team. And that was exactly what we did. I have to tell you that we didn't do, any, we didn't, we didn't do anything different. N nothing that just keep believing on the ways we do it. We found a net, uh, we found results, confidence back, and then all the good things that we did in the first part of the season that we were we didn't recognize because we didn't get results. It was recognized at the end, and but that's the game. It's the game. Uh, it's it's the way it goes. Awesome. I guess kind of going off of that, Oscar, for the confidence aspect, having players finding their stride at the right time, not only with, with Faku and his success that he's had, but also with Duncan and, and Ramiro and having that uh, options in the attack, especially right as you start heading into the, into the playoffs. How important has that been just having the offense firing on all cylinders over the last couple of months? It's... Uh 
great to see uh, that cohesiveness that they have developed. Not just the one who start, but the guys who are coming from the bench. What I have sense in the training ground is that despite they are professionals that are competing for their position, they are they're good teammates and they're pushing each other. They're competing for the position and they know that the coaches with transparency we put the one that that may help us in that moment to win. And uh, they have absorbed that and they have converted into a group that if they have 30 minutes, five minutes, 45, 90, they, they are taking it in behalf of the group or in benefit of the group. So it, it's not an easy task to do because uh, with players, and I was one of them, we have our egos and we want to play every single game, whether I play well or not. But when they put the team together, when they put the team first is when the things start just evolving. I don't know if you guys would want to answer this, but how, how do you feel about everybody just thinking, hey, uh, Inner Miami's going to win no matter what? Do you have any thoughts on that? <laughs> I think that's what uh, that's a normal thing for, for people to think right now. But I think they, they did an amazing job in putting together a, a very good roster uh, within all the limitations that we have in, in the league and things that we can do and cannot do. Uh, so it's natural for people to think that. I hope we get the privilege to play against them in the next round uh, because that would be a privilege. Uh, it would be at their house, you know, and we have a chance to beat the, the best team that has ever played in, in MLS at their house. Um, again, uh, words are great. You still got to play. All right, we'll wrap up there. We're going to move the table really quick, bring in Haley and Seb. We'll take this photo, and then we will go into the pride one. <laughs>